Okay, so today we are going to be working on a sixth grade project, and this one's entitled Sharpie Explosion. So you see an example that I did a few years ago, and here we go. There's Mr. Grumman. How's everybody doing? If you're a sixth grader and you are at home, sick or quarantined, uh, this is the project that we are working on for the month of October, end of September. Our sixth grade Sharpie Explosions, which is one of the more fun projects. I'm going to show you how we're going to start. So you're going to get a piece of paper and hopefully you've got a piece of paper at home. If you don't, you can send somebody into the school to get one. And I can help you out on that. Then what we're going to do, we're going to start off with drawing an actual Sharpie. So we're going to draw a Sharpie marker in the corner of the paper like this. So I'm going to put one down and we're going to use the Sharpie as a model and we can go ahead and just trace it 100%. I usually don't tell people to trace things but when you're working with something that you want to be perfect or really lifelike and realistic it helps to use it as a model because then you can so where the handle ends is from here to here and you can just put that on there and draw it out so now we've got the handle right where we need it to be the handle is the gray part of the sharpie and then we can open up the sharpie and we're going to do this part here which is called the hazel and it is black and it goes to right about here so we're going to make it tapered and it's a little bit thinner than the gray handle so we draw that line just a little bit inside of this line and we have that curve and then we've got this part right here which is the part right before the felt tip and that looks like a square when we look at it from directly above so we just draw a little square there and then the tip if it's brand new it's going to look kind of like a triangle so we just draw that in place like that then we can go ahead and look at a sharpie and we can read the word sharpie on there and we can go ahead and take a look at it and there's the word sharpie on there and we see where, where that is and we're going to write it right on the Sharpie just the way we see it. And that's called the font. The font is the lettering. And this, believe it or not, is called Sharpie font. Because it's the way the Sharpie company writes their letters. To write the word Sharpie. So we're going to go ahead and look at the lettering and do it the best we can so that when somebody looks at our drawing they will absolutely know that it is a sharpie and that looks pretty good then we can look carefully trace over our lines that we drew with an ultra fine point sharpie which has got the smallest lines that you can possibly make with a sharpie and then we're going to shade it in with a pencil because whoops that was not that was a little shaky there Mr. Grumman so I'm going to outline it carefully And then the gray handle part, we can take a pencil and we can shade that in real lightly and neatly. And on one side, we can make it a little bit darker 
to make it look like it's rounded and it has a shadow. And then in the middle, we're going to ease up on the pressure. We don't press as hard with our pencil and it'll be lighter. We can even leave a little bit white to make it look like there's a reflection on there. And then on the other side, we're going to make it darker again. So that looks pretty good. That looks like the handle. And then if you look at the hosel of a Sharpie, again, it's black. You can see that it's black. But even here, you can see that there is a white streak on there. And that is the reflection that it might have with the lights on the ceiling. So in order to get that look, if we're trying to make this look really realistic, we're going to make some stripes on our Sharpie and then when we color them in carefully we'll leave a couple of them, two of them white and they will look like the highlights reflected from the ceiling. I know this is taking a while, but it's good to see how it's done, and then you can do it as well. And then we'll do the same thing on this part here. We'll leave a couple of little white reflections, and then the felt that's not hard plastic. That's made out of felt, so it doesn't have a reflection on it. And there's our Sharpie. And if you want to draw the cap nearby, you can do that as well. You can draw that on the picture. And then the last thing we can do with this is we can make a little shadow next to it. And again, with pencil. And that'll make it look like perhaps it's sitting on the table creating a reflection. Sometimes if you do this really really good, sometimes when you're working on it you'll think it's an actual Sharpie sitting there because it's so realistic. So I'll just leave that like that. Now here comes the part where we have the explosion, where it's a Sharpie explosion. So what you're going to do is from the tip of the Sharpie you're going to, let me see if I can bring this, okay, you're going to make some kind of a splash or outline that you're going to fill in with all kinds of Sharpie designs, pictures, things that you can do with a marker. either a Sharpie marker or another kind of marker. So there's kind of an outline there. And then we're going to fill in areas with designs. So you might, uh, you might do, like in this area, you might do some kind of a logo of a sports team. Maybe you like the Packers. You can, and I'm just doing this real quickly, but you can, Sketch out a logo. And you can color that in. And you can have the Green Bay Packers logo in there if you color that in. Of course, you're going to do things really, really neatly. This is a, a project that takes a long time. And I don't have a lot of, a lot of time to show you all of these. But then you can take um, your Sharpie and you can... You know, outline the lines around it really, really dark and bold, Thick, make them thicker. You can even use a king size sharp if you want to make them really thick and really stand out, which I like to do with some of my lines. Make them a little bit thicker in some areas. It just makes the whole project look a little bit more dynamic and interesting. So let me show you a couple examples that I've done before. Here's another one. 
again we've got the sharpie here and then this is just a real neat pattern that I got from a Zentangle book. Um, you can look up Zentangles on the computer and you'll have hundreds, more than hundreds of Zentangle designs. This is one that's done in black and white and then you can add color to it with Sharpie or with other um, Crayola markers. It doesn't matter what. You can even use colored pencils. Here's another one that I took a little bit more time on. This one doesn't have the Sharpie in it yet. The Sharpie would be right here like this. But then I've got some really interesting outlines, kind of a wavy pattern in the outside of it. And what I've done is I've put our school's logo in the middle, our high school's logo. And I did a little... Uh, tribute here to Pete Mondrian, who we learned about in kindergarten. He did the, you know, very geometric horizontal and vertical lines with the primary colors in them. This was a neat design here, just done with many different colors, starting with a black square in the middle and then coming in with colors of the rainbow and just radiating out, making them bigger and bigger until I filled up that whole space. These are done with, you know, rainbow stripes of color. And there's room for more things as well. So when you get done with that whole thing, that would be your Sharpie explosion. And that's what the six graders are working on right now. So if, like I said, if you're sick or if you're at home and you need to follow along, you can do so. And um, I'm going to leave my last example that I did here. I will leave this one up. This one's got all kinds of good stuff going on. Brewer's logo, Packer's logo, uh, an eye, some really neat patterns and whatnot. There's a heart in the middle, upside down heart. Um, so good luck sixth graders. If you have any questions, you can email me. Um, I will be here every day if you need to pick something up at the school so Mr. G signing off